What's up guys, I hope you're all doing well today and we're back with another video. So today we're going to be talking about jump squats, one of my favorite as far as applied metrics. I've been doing jump squats since the ninth grade. I discovered them in playing volleyball back in high school. Um, and, you know, and I've loved the, the workout ever since. It's so simple to do. You can do them almost anywhere you want, home. You don't need any equipment for the majority of the type of, of, the type of jump squats you do. So today for this video, I did some, some research on it. Um, I wanted to bring a scientific approach to it. So, you know, for the research, they did an eight week training protocol. And the athletes, you know, perform the max, maximal isometric squat strength, vertical jump performance, and maximum sprinting speeds pre, mid, and post the eight weeks. Okay, so there was 68 participants between the ages of 18 and 24. Some participants dropped out, leaving 36 in the experimental group and 32 in the control group. Now, the experimental group trained three times a week for eight weeks. Um, the control group did nothing at all because they were the control group. Um, and 13 training sessions were performed using eight sets of four repetitions. 13 sessions were performed using four sets of eight repetitions. And the rest period was, was three minutes. Now, this is important because when you do apply metrics, um, if you have watched my earlier videos or you follow me on Instagram, athletic underscore education, you know that I constantly talk about how you need to take a prolonged break during plyometrics because it's not an endurance based workout, it's an explosive movement. So you wanna be able to, you wanna be able to reach optimal, you know, power because that's how plyometrics work. Now one thing to point out is that the subjects did not perform any other form of physical activity during the eight week training period. That means that the, in the experimental group, the athletes only perform jump squats. They didn't do any other form of physical activities. They didn't run, they didn't do squats, they didn't uh, do any sprints, anything at all, just the jump squats because they wanted the researchers wanted to see what the effects of only jump squats were going to be on the athletes. After the eight week training period, <coughs> there was a significant increase across the board. The subjects increased their force production, vertical jump, and sprint time. For example, the average time for the 50 meter sprint before the eight weeks training period was 6.58 seconds. After four weeks, the time came down to 6.51 seconds. And after the eight week training period, the subjects were clocking in at 6.39 on average. Now that's very impressive considering they didn't do any other forms of exercises, just jump squats alone was able to increase the sprint times. Uh, of course the control group did not see any improvements. One thing that I thought was, was interesting but also not much of a surprise was the was that the subjects did not see any further improvements in their verticals after four weeks. However, everything else they tested continued to group. This makes a lot of sense because, you know, when you're doing jump squats, you're training your body to jump. And after a certain period of time, there's really no, you can't really improve anymore unless you add something else to it. So the researchers, hypothesize that if they were to add, let's say some weight, instead of doing the um, jump squats with any weights, let's say do some jump squats with the barbell, and that, that increased weight will add more, would add more to your strength and your explosive power, which will increase your vertical as well. So, <clears throat> now keep in mind, this study was done only using jump squats. Again, so I, I had spoke about that earlier, and I imagine you do jump squats and you see such improvements. Imagine if you add in other forms of exercises. Imagine you do some strength training. Imagine you do some sprints. Imagine you do some endurance work. You can see a whole lot of improvements. Now, there's different type of jumps, uh, squats that you could do. You could do an approach jump squat. You could do hex bar. You could do the barbell like, like I explained earlier. You could do um, dumbbell. So there's many different forms of jump squats that you could do. Um, and really that's about it for this video. That's it for the research. I really hope you like the video. And if you do, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe. 
and I hope to bring further videos such as these to you guys. So peace out.